All right. Greetings, all. Thank you for returning to my channel. I'm Professor Nooney. Allow me to welcome you back to the Stanley Parable, the Ultra Deluxe Super Duper all of his co-workers were Pay All Your Bills edition. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There's the bucket. I don't want to touch the bucket this time, honestly. Enough is enough. That door is shut. The balloons are everywhere. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let me uh, do this it this way a little bit. Way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly. Or well. go this way. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I wonder what other Stanley changes are going to be head, are going to occur. Butterflies in his stomach, giddy in a way he had never known before. This this is, is this different. Room? A connection between the two? Could a man? Love a room. This I mean, this narration is truly, different. Truly, deeply, madly, love. I, I don't know about all that. But eager to get back to business, that was different. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I don't think I've gone down here yet. Shall we find out? Let's die. Am I gonna die? But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. I don't remember this yes, ending. Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Thank you. Oh, is that it? Maybe I'll grab the bucket this time. Yep, that was it. <laughs> Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. Oh, the door shut. Never mind. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Yeah, I feel totally relaxed. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. That that opens at one point. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. To be rich is it Hey, look, it's this thing. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't uh, buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one I'm of I'm at two out of six, figurines. if you can't see it. Oh, never mind. I was trying to move it for you. Uh, it just has two out of six behind me. To be rich, is it a crime to commit crimes? Isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken I forgot. Down an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket. He didn't he notice the pin the keypad. The keypad. Yeah, I knew it. Desk. I Nor forgot the code of simply being near the bucket. Did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was two eight two eight four five? But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? I hate when it gets dark like this. Oh, I said I was gonna go to. Logical explanation. I was gonna do that like other ending. 
The one where, uh, oh, look at this. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a three out of six name for these things. What about mini stands, Stanley figs? Oh, what about Stanleyines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanleyine under your belt. Well, we took the right path to get to that one. Oh, I, I was about to push up. I wanted to see what would have happened. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this dark I... moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. I the guess this is a cl clever way of adding more audio to the same ga gameplay. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. No. I think it's this way. Although this passageway had the word escape. No, 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 I'm right. But of course, Stanley and the bucket thought better of it and realized they simply had too much to live for. How are you doing, camera? I think this is the right way, and then once we go in that one room, uh, we won't go past it. On an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. Here we go. All right, I'll wait till I get there. All right, we we, uh, we reached it. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley Where's number decided one? that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high five Where's in a number three? way. And the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. That's five. Where's three? And four. Here's three. Where is four? I don't even know if I'm doing it right. I'm just going in order. One, two. I already pressed three. Anything down here? There's four down here? Nothing underneath the steps. Donde esta cuatro? The flip. Maybe there isn't a number four. Okay, that didn't work. One, two, three. Right, let me go press number five. Just to see if it does anything. Nothing. Come on, Mr. Bucket. Help me out, yo. Get it. All right, I'll be right back. So I wonder if I had to turn this on and then make a run for it. I hope the doors don't close. When at last they came to the source. Oh, I'm going to turn it on. Okay. Stanley and the bucket knew it was their obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Okay, so let's turn it on. But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Oh crap! Stanley gasped in horror. Had I turned it off the last time. Plan all along to take over the machine and claim the power for itself. 
How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Well, that room was locked. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. Sure, I'm the sure that's what this was. Were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? I'm Stanley sick of this the darn bucket. In his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place. Oh my God! Live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. Is it going to fade to black? Wow. So that's an ending. I wonder how many endings there are. And here we are again. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Figuring finders a committee. A he could no longer recall. In the meeting room. I'm going to skip the bucket. Come on, open up. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. There will be a reward for finding them all. There will be a reward for finding them all. Trust the completionist instinct. Small floating objects appeared across the office. We have to synergize our resources to ensure the retrieval. There are many questions. There was no memo from management. How can you tell? How can you tell you spotted one? What makes them float in air? Who took these pictures of them? Follow clues provided by employee 416. We can do it. Red room? Question mark? A red room. Employee 416. Do I have to find his, uh, his office? Before reporting back on any new findings. Weird spinning figurines. This is cool. So I already have three of them. A large room, lots of boxes. Stairs, something to do with stairs. Somewhere both red and blue. Um, how about I go down the stairs? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Here it is. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn. That's four. Stanleyines and figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? You can't see it because I'm blocking I'm sure it. it will come to me. That's cool. Uh, I don't want to go through this one again. That's just loops and loops. Oh, do I have to go upstairs again? And you know what? I forgot the code again. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Was it? Could he 4825? Really this was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees. Statistically, okay, he got it. He, he, he said it rather. Guess blindly, ever. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. All right, we're back down here. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. No, I didn't. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, 
The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Okay, so we're gonna fall down this thing again. Portal! And here we are again. We've done this one already, so I'll try to skip through it a little bit. So I forgot that this takes you to the uh, museum. So let me go back through here. Okay, yeah, we saw that ending already. There was nothing new about it. All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Here's the bucket. I don't intend on pulling that. I hate Mondays. Looks like someone has a case of the Mondays. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge. Look, let me prove it. Let me okay, prove we're back at these at the two the doors. Side. Give me a chance. There it is. Now listen carefully. This is you're getting close now. Stanley. I was looking for this. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one, and then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. <laughs> we'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. I want to go so back to that, back the meeting room. No Figler and Marines. None of us can. I want to go back to that meeting room because it gives you a hint as to where the last one is. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. Oh, it's the looping. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. I don't know if he yeah. said this when I went through the blue, uh... There we go. I'm, I don't think I'm familiar. What the heck? What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Here. Yeah. What the flip? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel okay. happy. No, wait. Where are you going? Sorry. <laughs> I gotta go, bro. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Oh, it's this one. I think Please, I remember no, this. Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley. Th no! Oh, thank God you lived. No. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? <laughs> Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Trying to end this. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? I'm moving a little bit slower. My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to Listen, man, to I'm trying to find some figurines, bro. The situation correctly. Adios, bro. It was, it's been real. What the flip? Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Goodbye, narrator. I will see you in the reboot. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh! Is it over? <laughs> it's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. I mean, is it really that bad? Let's just make our way to the uh, meeting room so we can find out. I've, so we can look at the last hint for the last uh, figurine. A large room, lots of boxes. I don't know where that is. A large room, lots of boxes. 
Stop kidding yourselves. I want them so much. I want to go home. There will be cleaning of this wall required. Um, a large room, lots of boxes. The warehouse? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I already got the one that was here. But Stanley just oh crap, this is just a looping hallway. The of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might right. have fired for that. Yeah, it's not here. Competitive economy. Why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was What the heck? I went to begin the game. I, I paused I, and then I went like this and I went to begin the game again. And now all of his co-workers were gone. This is completely different. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What the heck? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. How the fuck did I come out of there? That was weird. Um... Let's go this, this way. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I'm just gonna pet walk was, right past this. The lounge. A large but room, lots of boxes. Business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Now let me go down here again. I forgot what was down here. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now Oh yeah, this is, he guesses the doors, okay. Uh, okay, so he opened the door. Oh crap, it's this stupid ending. No, no. Never mind. No, 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 no. this isn't right at all. This ain't I I got the wrong one. I I forgot how to get to a lot of these endings. Is it going to do that weird thing again? If I go to begin the game again? No, it loaded correctly this time. That was a little funky. Outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. A big room, lots of boxes. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, that's the only one that's remaining. I don't know what any of that's about, but a large room, lots of boxes. I don't even think I've been in one of those. Why won't the broom closet open? Oh, it did open! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Can I just sit here? <laughs> there was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. What the heck is F.A.? Oh, this... Okay, that's British, so... Are you I know what that is. Still in the broom closet? I certainly am. Yeah. Doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. I hope this is making everyone dizzy. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. I think you can just stay in here. You get an ending. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friends you'll say, Ow! Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning.
Stanley was fat and ugly and really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley's oh, addicted to drugs and hookers. Holy crap. I don't remember that at all. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed in front of your screen. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. I still open the door. The long-term sustainability of your yep. species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Is that it? Okay, I guess that's it. Ah, second player. It's good to have <laughs> you on board. I guarantee coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Um, I didn't realize that I was able to come in here. I just opened this door. The heck? Business strategy? Shoot a panda in the head? Kill a panda? Can I choose whether to go up or down? Really? Hey, hey, hey! I can hear the narrator in my head, or my my ears singing along with the song. Holy crap, how long is this elevator ride? Maybe we're in the uh, CN Tower. Dude, I know I hear somebody in my ear singing along with this song. Yo, what in the flip? How long do I stay here for? You, I, you guys have to hear it at this point. I can't be the only one that hears it. This is so weird. Yo, how long am I going to be in here for? What? Can I go up? Oh my god, what in the flip? <laughs> Yo, he's like, Stanley. Does this elevator go anywhere? Yo, this narrator is, he's, he's a little wonky, man. 
three, four. Yo. Well, I guess I'll end the video here because I've got, I, I went down, he stayed there for a long time. I'm going up, we haven't gotten anywhere, but it seems like as soon as I hit the button again, I'm immediately back on that same floor. I think this elevator is just shaking in place and just playing this song. So I guess this is a good place to end it as I don't think we're actually being taken anywhere. So I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, thank you all of those who came to check out my video while I dance for watching my video. I appreciate all the views notoriety I can get. Dude, this, this dude is in my right in my ear. So I feel like he's right here. It's so it's so weird. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you all to those who came to check out my video for watching my video. I appreciate all the views notoriety I can get. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and as always, take care and God bless.